I do. I'm Robert DeFranco. I'm a secondary black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm here today at Harlingen Jiu Jitsu to conduct a seminar for the Harlingen Jiu Jitsu Club. I'm with my coach, Bruno Bastos. Um, we're doing a, a two day seminar, gi and no gi. One day, first day gi, second day no gi. And it's going to, I've started a training association, training association here at Harlingen Jiu Jitsu Club about four years ago. I'm, I come down uh, every three months teach a seminar, also every six months to do evaluations and promotions. And uh, this is the second time to bring Bruno down with me. The students really love learning from him. He's my coach, he's a world champion and a great coach and I'm happy to bring him and uh, introduce him to a lot of new students down here in Hollinger. You can, you can see the level improved each, each time I come. You know, I'm gone for three months, come back and you already see the level improved. But when I first started about four years ago, there was you know, a few blue belts down here in the valley, and that was about it. Uh, now there's uh, multiple black belts, brown belts, purple belts, lots of blue belts. So the level's definitely grown. The competition scene is getting bigger and bigger. And uh, as you know, you know, most people, you know, start in uh, BJJ and gravitate to MMA. So the MMA scene's grown as well. If you watch, uh, the UFC exploded, MMA exploded, and it started, uh, you know, it had its ups and downs, but it exploded when the uh, Ultimate Fighter started doing the reality shows. That's when MMA started exploding. And BJJ follows it because almost every person who does MMA does BJJ. So it kind of, they go hand in hand. The more popular MMA gets, the more popular BJJ gets. Um, well, I don't train in MMA. So I would say I'd fall more in the sports jiu-jitsu category. But I always try to emphasize to my students, you know, practical uses of what I'm showing them. Um, there's a lot of things that you may do in a sport tournament where, where punching and kicking is not allowed uh, that you wouldn't do in an MMA tur uh, tournament or you wouldn't do on the street. So a lot of times when I show techniques, I point that out. There's a lot of things that, that uh, you know, but the main thing you learn in, ju in, ju in, in Jiu Jitsu um, is gonna carry over to MMA, it'll carry over to your self-defense on the street, and you basically go to the basics and that's how to control your opponent. We have a lot of police officers that train with us, and I even had one police officer told me that if he didn't know Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, he would be dead. He said at one time he had got into a confrontation and it saved him. He had somebody that was trying to take his gun from him, and he said that saved his life. And uh, the, basic, the main thing you learn in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is how to control your opponent and control the situation. So you just use your, the very basics that you know. You don't have to use a lot of fancy moves and submissions, but just the basic, just to control your opponent, to stop them from hurting you or hurting other people. And that's a, the very basic of what you learn in, in all jiu-jitsu classes. I would like to, if the opportunities arise, I would, I would like to open more associations if I could. Yeah, sure. The, the Valley grew because I had uh, some students that were from here at my school in Dallas, and they brought me down here to do a seminar. Jacob came from the Harlingen Jiu-Jitsu Club to attend the seminar. We became friends and he invited me to come to his school and the association kind of formed from there. And our, our, uh, you know, our, uh, our, our, our relationship kind of formed from there and that's how we kind of got started. And, uh, and it's been good and I've always told them, as long as they want me to come down here, I'll continue to come down here. And so far it's continued. They enjoy when I come down and teach. I enjoy coming down here teaching and it's been a good partnership. And if the opportunities arise to, to start more associations, we definitely would, would, would entertain the idea. We, me and Bruno both, uh, Bruno teaches and I train. We both in the Octagon MMA in Dallas. And we have a lot of uh, girls that do the Muay Thai. We have a lot of girls that do the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and we have some girls that do the MMA as well. And so it's de girls are definitely growing. It's not as dominant as the males, but there's still a, a market for it. You, and Strike Force has the, a lot of the women MMA uh, fighters, and so it's. Uh, they also have uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has world championships for women too. So there's a lot of women competing in the high level tournaments as well. There's so many positive things to be gained from training in Jiu Jitsu or most type of martial arts. It's it's really great for kids. Uh, besides just being a sport and being physically active, which is always good for kids, keeping them physically active, uh, one of the, the great things you'll learn is some basic self-defense, how to protect yourself. And especially for girls, you know, most of the time, uh, if someone's attacked on the street, you know, women are vulnerable a lot more than men to be attacked and be assaulted. And one of the best things that you could learn for self-defense to protect yourself would be jujitsu. But you know, 
this, like you said, there's going to be close contact training, you know, grappling with uh, other men, other, I mean, uh, other uh, boys, other girls, and that's part of it. And there's really no way to learn without doing that. And it's, but there's, and I, in my experience, jujitsu is not for everybody. You know, some people aren't comfortable with that. And I wouldn't want anyone to do anything they're not comfortable with. But I would encourage them to try it and see if they enjoy it. Because a lot of people enjoy it and see if they like it. And the best thing to, to uh, stay in shape or to learn something that uh, is a practical self-defense is find something you enjoy. I, I hate going to the gym, running on the treadmill. You know, to me it's boring. And if I had to do that to stay in shape, I wouldn't be in very good shape. Because it's boring, it's monotonous. But I like training jiu-jitsu, it's fun. And I suggest to stay in shape or to even learn self-defense. Find something you enjoy doing.